Woohoo folks, my name's Tony and these are my hands. Today we're gonna kick thick cut bacon. Mmm. We're gonna use black pepper, chopped chives, red pepper, and of course a little bit of garlic. Woohoo! These we're gonna save for later. Let's get this laid out. Oh, I feel challenged. Oh, challenge complete. 10 point achievement. Alright, again, always smell your food. Mmm, smells healthy. Alright. Let's spread this out. Remember only touch what you need to with your hands right now because all the raw meat. Highly recommend being clean when you're handling raw meat. Well, yeah, your choice. Go America. It's a good kind of freedom here. Eating what you like. All right, look at that. Just that easy. Now we're going to do two different kinds, one pan for me, one pan for the wife, and we're going to make hers a little spicy. I'm going to wash the hands and get rid of this garbage, hold that thought, be right back. Meanwhile, back on Tony's oven, I should have told you, hit preheat on your oven up to 400 degrees right now. And actually, you can take your tongs and stuff, set it aside. It's one of those old ovens, this thing actually gets pretty scorching hot pretty quick. So, good to keep all your plastics off the top of your oven. But I'm going to add bacon, or excuse me, bacon. I'm going to add bacon to our bacon. I'm going to add black pepper to all the bacon. Because black pepper appears to be my thing. If you haven't checked out other videos, what are you waiting for? Alright, but yeah, the fresh, cracked black pepper. Multicolor melange, look at that. All the good stuff in there. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. Now this one here is just for the wife. little black pepper. And the red bell pepper seeds. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Every spicy bite. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be so good. So yummy and hot. Alright. Me, a little black pepper, dash of garlic. Not too much. And I love me some chives. Now you can press it onto your bacon if you want and get all fancy, which is fine too. You know, but look at that. That's going to be so tasty. But no matter how you cook your bacon in the oven, the main goal is 400 degrees. About 10 minutes, you're going to look at it. Now I don't have a light in my oven, so I got to use this handy dandy flashlight. Pretty handy. All the good colors. Alright. So, once, hey, the light just went off. So, I can put this in the oven right now. So, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Mmm. Oh, yeah. See you in 10 minutes. Well, actually, I can't see you, but, you know, technology, right? All right, take care. Be right back. Ten minute mark. Looking good. Looking good. Ten minute mark. Oh yeah. All right, about five, ten more minutes maximum, depending on how crispy you like it. Now again, four hundred degrees. That's 10 minutes in already. These, I don't really flip it unless I need to, but these would be nice because you don't want to grab the bacon by itself. That stuff's going to be hot. It'll be hard enough to wait for it to cool down enough to eat it before you burn your tongue. Woohoo! Go, go, bacon. Alrighty. 15 minute mark. Perfect bacon. I got to get it out of that grease, otherwise, it'll keep on cooking. 
All right. Remember, keep your oven off. You are good to go. It's a little crispier than I would have liked, but that's okay. It's gonna go on pizza in a little bit, actually, and it's gonna be perfect. All right, but this one here is doing a lot better. Oh yeah, still got some pliability. So it looks worse than it is. So I'm gonna have to retry cooking bacon in the oven. But good or bad, at least you tried. Yeah. That's actually perfectly brown, that's really nice. A little sticky on this side, there we go. I probably should have kept my glove on, but this is how we learn. But I'm going to come back, put all this on a plate with some paper towels, and it'll be perfect in about three minutes. But at 400 degrees, you might want to keep it at the 15 minute mark exactly, or a little less if you want softer bacon. Hang in there, folks. Alrighty, folks. My bacon, a little crispy, but it'll be great on pizza. My wife's bacon, perfectly done. And look at all those red bell pepper seeds, man. That's going to be some hot, spicy goodness. But yeah, my side, I used this pan, which I'm not going to touch because it's extremely hot right now. So this pan actually cooked everything a little faster. Okay. Now this is the old traditional pan. And it cooked it nice and slow, but evenly all the way through. Better pan, faster cook time. Be aware. Plus... We just moved into this apartment and we're learning the oven. But if I got to do this, that means you do too. Unless you're lucky enough to have your own home with a really good stove, then leave a comment below on how you change the directions to work for you. Highly recommend it. But man, either way, it's a win-win. Perfect bacon, extra crispy, perfect bacon. Mmm. 400 degrees, 15 minutes maximum with a premium pan. 15 minutes with a regular pan perfect bacon but I'm showing you this video win or lose like I said bacon for the win please enjoy folks like share subscribe leave a comment below hit the notification bell mmm bacon 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 all right for those of you wondering what we're gonna have our bacon with we had a choice between pizza and eggs what do you think Reheated pizza. We're going to crumble the bacon on and put on some Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Tasty. Please, do the same, folks. Whatever good leftover and a reason to use bacon, highly recommend it. Bonus track. What do you think? Take care, folks. Mmm, pizza. Mmm.